Hello, Floss Tube. This is Denise with Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. And I am here today to demonstrate, for those of you who have requested it, I'm here to demonstrate how I um, get my DMC floss onto a floss tag. And I have this cute little bee floss tag from Fat Quarter Shop. And I'm going to show you how that is done. So, this is just a normal skein of DMC floss. This one just happens to be number 168. And um, what you want to do is you want to look for the end of the floss that is coming out from the long label that is on the floss. As you can see, there are two different labels. And so from the numbered end, you want to find the end of that. So what I do is I sort of move the two labels together to the middle and hold on to those as I gently pull the floss from the skein. Uh, when you do it from this end, um, unless it is a an old skein of floss, this normally will go very smoothly. I have found that with some of my older skeins of floss, it does have a tendency to tangle uh, much more easily. So we'll just lay uh, those aside. We'll just put those aside for now. And um, so I have the floss completely uh, unraveled from the skein. So what I will do now is simply... I'm gonna double it, okay? I'm gonna take the floss and I'm gonna double it. We're getting a little bit tangled here. And that's okay. That's okay. So we, so we just keep going until we are able to double the floss. See the little bit of tangles I'm getting here. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to just put the two ends together. And, you know, as, as, as evenly as possible. And we're gonna double it again. Looking out the tangles as we go, uh, because sometimes the tangles are a little bit inevitable. We have a little knot here. Let's see if we can work that out quickly. So just understand that sometimes uh, some of these things are just a little bit more uh, difficult to do on camera than they are when you're actually doing it. So we get to the other end and we're going to put those two ends together. And so we're going to double it again. So we're doubling it twice here. And here we go. Let's gently straighten it out. Okay, and you see how these um, ends are kind of wonky. You want to try to keep them sort of even, although, you know, none of this is, you know, earth shattering or the end of the world in any way, shape, or form. Just keep that in mind. These are a little bit more than a little bit wonky. So we're gonna put the two ends together again. So now this is the third time we're doubling it. And it 
again, just want to keep it as close to even as possible. Okay. So, at this stage, I want to take a look at my uh, thread and I want to decide if I'm going to be doing a loop start or if, um, and so that I can stitch with uh, two strands or if this is a project where I'm going to want to stitch just with one strand. So as it is now, it is uh, about, I'm going to say it's about 37 inches long as I measure it on my cutting board. I'm going to say it's about 37 inches long. So this is about the size that I like to keep it when I know that I'm going to be stitching with two strands of floss and doing a loop start. So we're gonna just double it again, but we're gonna take the fully looped end, and that is the end that we're going to put on to our floss drop. And we simply take this end and put it through the floss drop like that and then gather the rest like that and pull it through okay so now you're just going to go to your other end hope that everything is even as you can see here mine is not but it's simply because um you know one end is longer than the other but all of the floss is the same length. And we're just gonna take our scissors and go through the loops and cut it like that. Oh, it's so difficult when you're looking through a camera lens, guys. And so this is really all there is to it. Um, I think I have one more loop on there. I can't really see it. Let's see. Now, I think I got all my loops. Okay. So now, you have all of your thread neatly attached to your floss drop. So what I like to do, you can uh, normally, uh, in most cases with the floss drops, you can simply take a uh, Sharpie and write the number of the floss on the back. But what I like to do is I like to cut the number off of the actual label I like to cut that off and use that just to uh, just gonna tape it to the back of the floss drop this way like I know I didn't make a mistake with the number and I can actually choose to reuse this floss drop for another skein of floss in a different color if I want to in the future. Because I will just have to remove the label from this and reuse it. So here we have DMC number 168. And then you could just take your floss drop and attach it to your ring, which is a nice strong ring. 
And so there you have it, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, oh, before I sign off, let me just show you now how you're going to use the floss. You're going to take your needle and you are going to find the one strand of floss that you're going to use and you're simply going to pull it out. Easy peasy. Look at that. Easy peasy. Now you just have to thread your needle and off you go. And you can start stitching. I really hope you guys got something out of that. I hope that you enjoyed that little demonstration. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to just note them down in the comments. Or you can always send me an email at designmorris1 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Uh, this is a channel all about cross stitch. And um, I would love to see you join us from time to time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.